And I think my life is going to completely change with the next decision that I make. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to England. The sky is beautiful, so I thought I'd start the video out here because I haven't seen the sun for a second. <laughs> Oy, it's gorgeous. Anyways, let's go back to my flat and have a chat. Home sweet home. Hello. So, uh, it actually might not be bright enough. I've got this panel, light, soft light, which is nice. You can adjust the brightness of it right there. So I've been here in England for about three months now, going on three months maybe, but it's been that long. What have I even been doing here? I don't know. Thinking a lot, reading a lot. Let me just show you the books. I get physical books now, just some of them. I gave a couple of my favorite ones away to my friends. The Power of Habit, The Psychology of Money. In reality is not what it seems, Quantum Gravity. These are all ones that I'm reading right now. Um, I haven't finished them yet. Still doing a lot of inner stuff. I haven't been filming YouTube videos like I normally do in when I go to countries because I've been to this country like four, five times now, four times. Should I just stop? I mean, should I stop the trajectory of the life that I've been doing? Obviously you guys know that I've been wanting to do travel content for so long. I've been doing it, but the way that I have been doing it, I'm so grateful for the places I've gotten to travel. I'm so grateful for all the people I've met. Like I'm very grateful. It's been very hard. Proud of myself. I did it, whatever. Sometimes you need to stop, stop being busy, stop traveling, stop running, stop this, stop that to go again. Do you know what I mean? I haven't been passionate. I haven't felt purposeful. It was, it's more like a wander and, and there is always a time in life for wandering, but I think I should stop wandering now and intentionally do something. I have some plans in my head. It's all dependent on other people and I'm not going to say what I want to do now. Social media, the way that I've been doing it and social media in general, I think it's just changed so much and it doesn't feel right. And the more I go inwards, the more it feels empty. So, so incredibly empty. And maybe that's me, maybe that's how it's turning out. Maybe the social media can only go so far until it all just blows up. Our attention spans now with like TikTok and stuff. It's like, how can this like take, go the next step without us becoming evolved and maybe devolved in a certain way? Like there's a limit to things until we evolve or devolve or whatever we have to do to cope with whatever is being put on us, whatever lifestyles that we live. I need to do something in my life that makes me feel purposeful. Maybe I don't need to say that to the whole internet or whatever, but... I want my videos to be purposeful. I want to be able to travel and be passionate about it. And I want to be able to actually afford it. A huge thing. I'm alone all the time. I can't afford things. I never have plans. I don't have a home. I don't have a base. I don't have stability or anything like that. And it's you can only go on so long. We can't keep doing the same things and expect things to change. But we're not done yet. I, I'm waiting for answers from other people. So... That's just what I have to say today. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to my friend and she's going to, to elongate my circuit tattoo onto my arm. Okay, I need to go and get a coffee. I cannot think. I've just been so unfocused for so long because I'm not like overly enthusiastic about anything in life right now. And that's why I need to just stop and figure my shite out. I'm gonna go to Cafe Nero get a coffee and I don't want to rely on caffeine for my happiness in life. Can I get, can I get a vanilla latte and uh, the chocolate muffin? Yes. For here? Yes.
heading to my friends to get tattooed now. Um, it's a gloomy day, rainy, cold, the huge. And we're gonna get this circuit going up my arm. And we're gonna be starting on the circuit now. Basically, she's gonna sketch something in here. You guys know how it works. It's, it's been like, mm, how long has it been? Two years? No, one year. Like nine months. <laughs> Oh, it's gotta be longer than that. <laughs> it's literally been like nine months. Hey, so I didn't forget to do a little update, but this it's been a couple days now, and here's the tattoo. I am late for a photo shoot right now. What is new? I always am, but I am doing kind of like a the witness in Love, Death, and Robots type of look. Things are still up in the air, and I can't say anything for certain, but remember to blow out your candles. Victoria here, checking in, day 1,326 of being alone. <laughs> I don't know how many days it's been actually. <laughs> I'm just like, it feels very weird on the inside. I am going through something. It's like each stage of going through things, you have to sort of like cope. And I don't know how to do this one, but things have gotten to a point now in my life where it's like, what do I have? And this is very vulnerable. Whenever you do so much in your life, you start realizing that the things that make you happiest are the simplest of things. Like I, I think I needed to go out and experience the world as much as possible and I have done so much and it's not gonna stop. My pants are tight. <sighs> Even the way that the world is now, like I feel like we're all in a similar vibration maybe of what actually matters. People are just doing things to just have views and it's like not nothing's even real. Nothing's real anymore and I contributed to this. Not that my content's like fake or whatever. I try to keep it as real as possible. Like if I don't do something that gives me purpose or a sense of belonging somewhere, and even beyond money, it's it's too lonely going from big city to big city. And I've been so terrified to go back to who, how I grew up, you know, all the stigma of how you, you know, going back, it feels like you're going backwards or something like that. But in this case, I had to experience everything to find myself through different, a different lens and not be scared of things that my mind has made up. And I've learned so much. You can only ignore your base desires for so long. I guess relationship wise, we'll start there. I'm not really like that's it's not really a concern for me um, because I've been so long being celibate and being alone. Uh, I think the longer you go, the the less you need someone else or any type of anything from the opposite sex or whatever. But what I do need is community and that's not something that you can just get rid of that desire. I want to feel like home to you guys, just like I want to feel something else is a home for me. And I think that's very important in connection. And I think my life is going to completely change with the next decision that I make, and it has to. I thought it was London. And you sometimes you can't know things until you actually do it. There's one thing that I have to try, and I want to document it, but it's one of those things that's not going to be immediate. And I hope that you guys stay on this journey with me. The thing I hate the most is saying things before their time like I, I don't know what's going to come to fruition right now it's just what feels and what i feel inside is just it's un insatiable making youtube videos about things that i'm not so excited and passionate about you guys can tell i can tell it's really hard for me to edit. this is the first time in my whole adult life of doing youtube that i have uploaded so infrequently we're gonna get there it's not gonna take that long i just need to figure out the best course of action and if you guys want to know what's going on, I have Instagram subscription. And I talk about things a lot more there. I feel more better about being personal there since I don't. There's not like like a bunch of strangers watching me. It's people that actually care. <laughs> if you want, share some of your thoughts about how life is going for you because I feel like everyone's in this weird vibration, this in between transition stage, this vibe of not knowing of things have to change just don't know how like i want to hear what you guys are feeling in life as well because i know we're all going through this together and that's the most important thing is to have community through it and i'm here and i'm here for you
and I know you're here for me. We're going to keep staying extraterrestrial and hopefully this next phase is going to be the right decision. Love you very much. Inside my mind.